Good evening. That 10 year old bridge connects you to a growing community, a popular outdoor amphitheater, and movie studios. But it already needs a multi million dollar makeover, and the city of Albuquerque says it's being forced to foot the bill. Here's News 13's Haley Rush with details. Dean Jessica, the city tells me the bridge that connects the community of Mesa del Sol to the city should have lasted for at least 20 years. Instead, it's already falling apart. If you were driving to the community of Mesa del Sol, most people take this bridge on University Boulevard to get there. I know lots of people cross that bridge every day. Built a decade ago, the bridge connects the community and movie studios to the city. It also provides a second entrance for the thousands heading to a concert at this Leda Amphitheater. But already, the city of Albuquerque says it's in bad shape. Taxpayers are left with a bridge that's sinking um, and cracked. And one of these days, we're not going to be able to get to Mesa del Sol, and those folks aren't going to be able to get back to town anymore. We went out there today and found crack after crack underneath the bridge, some even about five feet long. It's scary. I mean, we drive across that bridge every day. Well, I'm a bit concerned. I didn't know there was cracks in the bridge, and that's the bridge we go over every day. It's the only way in and out of here. So The city says it now has tough questions for the construction company that built the bridge. The only problem... We don't yet know where to point the finger, and quite frankly, the company's out of business that did the work. Uh, so taxpayers are on the hook. That bill could cost taxpayers up to $7 million, depending on if the bridge ends up needing to be rebuilt from the ground up. It's definitely a concern. While it's a top priority project, the city does want to make one thing clear. The bridge is not in any danger of falling down today, but unfortunately we're going to have to replace it a lot sooner than we thought we would, and probably a lot sooner than we should had somebody done their job the first, right the first time. The city says even with the company out of business, it still plans to reach out and talk with people who worked there to see if it was poor designing and engineering on their part or possibly natural causes. Back to you, Dean. All right, Haley, thank you. Mesa del Sol right now has about 4,000 residents. The city says it is expected to grow to about 10,000 over time.